hello guys good day you're yeah, welcome to this video and um here i'll be showing you how to use the excel sheet to draw your particle size distribution so just follow closely now you if you want to be enjoying videos like this kindly subscribe kindly subscribe to this channel um yeah let's start by you go to insert then you come to particle size distribution is a kind of graph that is having this that is having uh curve so you just pick this select data now you come to add the series name that's just the name of the the graph so just say particle size distribution particle size distribution then on the x axis we will be having the the c sizes that will be on the x axis then on your y axis you have the percentage retaining so you have a kind of graph like this and don't forget that particle size distribution graph is a semi log graph so then the next thing to do is come to format axis the logarithm scale to be 10 good so once you have it this way the next thing to do is to change this back to the position you click on the y axis then come to you right click and come to the format axis 2 once you, once you come to the format axis come to labels change it to low and it comes to the normal position now with this the next thing to do is just make it more appealing and more presentable now what you need to do next is for you to show just right click here you add minor grids then you right click on the x axis again to come to format minor grid that you just added then you change the color you can change the color here you change it to black depends on you on how you want it to be much more uh, glary so by me I think it's fine like this so if you if you like you can leave it like this but don't forget to add your axis title don't forget to add to add your axis title so now with that you know what to do right and just change your axis type to here change your axis type to so and this is the percentage percent Now with that, if you want it to, to be more appealing again, you can still add minor axis for the y axis. That is that. So now, you, if, if you like, you can. If you like it this way, but I think the minor axis too should be a bit. Um, should be showing a bit so that it should be much more okay. So. So here is how to do it so if you have any question you can put that down in the comment section don't forget to see more videos like this you can add you can subscribe 
like this video and you can also share it with your friends thank you now let me also show you another way in which you can use to do it another quick way again another quick way again I can use to do it so so what you do first is that you highlight what you want to plot see now then you insert then the program will generate the best graph that suits it for you click it and click it so the next thing that you have to do is to just modify it the way we modify that one your data are here already so what you need to just do is format the axis change it to logarithm of 10 come here change it to format the houses again come to labels change it to low then you can now repeat the same thing that we did for the previous uh, chart you can just do it here and that's all here you can just this way you can just put it there yourself particle size distribution size of the brochure so so you know the next thing to do you can add the minor grid you get that then you format the grid line pick it at here so you can just format minor grid line then you can change the color to black you understand that so the same thing add the minor grid line here and add minor grid line here so you can change the color as usual if you like you can change the color for this trend line you can change it to black so i think this is faster than the other way so those are the two ways in which you can uh, use excel or shade to get your particle size distribution graph so guys if you enjoyed this video and you want to be seeing more videos on how to use softwares like this kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and at the same time give this video a thumb up and also share with your friends share with your friends let them also gain what you've learned see you in the next video bye for now